Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a little recap and um, just a chance really to show you what I do with the, some of the slings that we breed and how we look after them. Now in this pot here, this is one of our normal nursery pots. You've seen us use these before. It's just a standard size deli cup. And these in here are the regardless slings that we took some weeks ago now, only a few weeks back, from our female piece of regardless. And they go into these little um, these nursery pots until they molt out again, and then they're just too large to stay in here. So what I then do is I then move them over. Now, if it's a terrestrial species, I tend to put them in a terrestrial pot, but basically the same setup, just a low one rather than a tall one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this up in here. And this is very, very simple. A very simple way of doing them. So what we do is we just throw in some potting compost in the bottom, nothing too special. I'm going to throw a little bit of beastie on top and the reason we're using the beastie soil is because of the bits of leaf and things in it and they'll they'll actually get in a burrow in this now although oh excuse me now although the regardless are an arboreal spider as a sling they will quite often as most arboreal slings will they will quite often bury down into the soil where it's nice and damp and moist. And this is a really, really good place for them to be. And if they were out in the wild, it's probably one of the safest places for them to be, rather than up in the trees and things like that where they become bird food. So we're gonna get our, um, our trusty paintbrush. Now we're not gonna put anything else in this, in this uh, enclosure. So literally all that's gonna be in here is the soil. And then what will happen is when we take these out of here, they will disperse around the tank and they will stay on the sides and they'll web the sides up and they'll stay there and some will burrow down as well. Now what we're doing now is because these will all be sold on, they'll all be moved on, so we're not looking at giving them a, um, a forever home. We just want them to be comfortable and easy that we can manage and feed them and do everything else that we need to do. So what we're gonna do because we're not quite sure how this is going to come, how this always works. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, if you want to come over and have a look. Now there is 102 regardless in this pot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the lid off. Nice and gently. Oh dear, look at them. Aren't they wonderful? Now you can see where they put a little bit of webbing over the top. And now they're all hooked onto it. Now it's important that the slings at this size have plenty of humidity, which is why we put them in the nursery pot. That is almost 100% humidity in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop the lid in there like so. They'll probably just sit in there. Now we're going to take this piece out. Now we're going to take this piece out. And we're going to pop that down there. All we're looking for at the moment is to make a bit of room. We can take our water out and pop that down there. We have a couple of escapees. Come on, little guys. That's it, in you go. You as well. I'll turn this around so you can see it. There they all are. So 
See, some of them are quite big. There you go. Just need to chase them off. Notice all the malts in there. Malts everywhere. There you go. Come on. In you go. Okay. This is the worst bit. I think we nearly got them all off of there. Oh no, still more. Little devils cling on to everything. Still more, look. Notice the difference in sizes. Some of them are slightly bigger than others. I think that's all off of that side. There we go. And these are all the old malts. See what they've malted out? Very cool. Now what we're going to do is going to chase these guys down. Quite robust little things at this size. You don't need to be, they just leap off. There's another one there, look at that. There we go. That's it, they're all off of that. I don't think we've had any run out just yet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and tease them off of the lid. As you can see, this is where the bulk of them are. Let's see if we can't get them off of there. Take the rubbish out. All right, here we go. Being arboreal, they'll probably want to go up. It's amazing, it's like a moving picture. Don't forget, keep your eyes on the top as well, just in case they make a run for it. On, you can let go. That's it.
I just don't want to leave. There we have it. Now that is all of them in. Now as you can see now that they've actually all moved up around the sides. Some of them are, will dig down into the, into the soil there. And we will leave them just as is now. So when it comes to feeding time, we'll let these set up. And then tomorrow we'll throw in some fruit fly, I think. And we'll see how they go. And we'll get a bit of footage of that so we can see what they're doing and hopefully by tomorrow they would have uh, webbed up a little bit as well but this is the easiest way to keep them now i know a lot of people um, with their slings they'll pop them up individually now if you imagine if we'd done that here we would have had a hundred separate little pots and to be absolutely honest a hundred pots of these plus other uh, slings that we have as well, it can become very, very time consuming. And I found this to be one of the easiest ways of maintaining them. You know, you're not, you're not gonna lose many like this at all. You know, you lose the odd one, which would just be natural anyway. We do, you know, you lose them, the odd ones, the weaker ones. So this is a very, very time uh, good time management if you like we can we can look after these really well so what we're going to do we're going to leave these now get back in we're going to leave these now and um, tomorrow we will feed them we'll film that and we'll see how they go so until then i'll see you shortly all right hello guys now, it's been a couple of days now since these little fellas have been in here and if you remember we've got 102 in here and we're going to see if they're ready for some little crickets. I'm actually just going to drop a few in. Let's see if they're hungry. As you can see there, these are just small silent crickets and there's a bit of a mixture in sizes. Oops, some of them are grabbing them already. Now we're feeding these in the morning. You'll probably find that these would have been a little bit more active evening time. Don't get many in a tub nowadays, do you? Are we catching? Yep, yeah, some of them are grabbing them. Some of them are sharing. I'll mix the fruit flies in as well. There we go. This will get them all on the move. Now you notice now the fruit flies are coming across the glass. These really wake them up. Yeah, we're starting to liven up a little bit now. Getting some good shots there. I'm 
mir das gleich ab. See, you've got close ups here. In focus. Now, as you can see, this is the easiest way to, to keep these guys. And they'll live quite happily communally at this age. We've probably got about 50% of them have got something. Grab something already. We can give them some more crickets, I think. It certainly livens them up, doesn't it? Right then. Well, now we've seen a little bit of action and we've seen them feeding. And you can see that the majority of them, <coughs> excuse me, will run in and grab grab different bits and pieces on their own. And occasionally you'll see some of them there that both grab the same item. And normally what will happen now, they will actually feed together um, and then eventually they'll break away and they'll grab something else as well. And you'll also notice there as well that things are quite slow with just the crickets in there on the floor. And the minute we put the fruit flies in there, the fruit flies go straight up the glass and they wake everybody up on the glass. And then you start seeing some, some proper feeding responses. Everything starts getting in there really, really quick. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon, guys.